This is Poolside Chat, where every week we answer your questions on how to fix and maintain your swimming pool. Poolside Chat is presented by InyoPools.com, helping pool owners find the right parts since 2001. Now here's your host, Matt and Rob. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Poolside Chat presented by InyoPools.com. I'm Rob. And I'm Matthew. How are you today, Robert? Oh, I'm doing great. You know why? Why? Because I'm shooting for perfection, just like the only undefeated team in NFL history, 1972, Miami Dolphins. Well, still still living in the past, huh? Well, uh, when you're a Dolphins fan, that's all you got. Yeah. Well, you got those Dan Marino champ. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess moving on. All right, moving Morris. on, please. Moving on. Um, we have a question uh, from Meredith in Katy, Texas. It goes as such. Which pool pump timer do I need for my pool? Um, just before I let you dive into it, because I know you're, just, you're, you're raring to go. Oh. Pull them back. Um, uh, the reason you would want a pool timer is mainly to save money, because uh, otherwise you just have it on a switch or you just have it on a breaker and it would just be running 24 seven. Do something that really doesn't need to be done. Basically, you need to turn your pool over at least once a day, maybe two or three, depending on the need uh, uh, of your area, especially in your Florida, you, you need to keep that chlorine in there. But uh, yeah, it's mainly to save money. But Rob, <laughs> what you got for me? Well, uh, instead of asking yourself uh, which time you need, let's ask yourself uh, what exactly are you trying to control? Uh, let's say you just have uh, a small pool, you got a single speed pump, mm -hmm. you just want to turn it on and off, um, then you go with a simple mechanical timer. Just turn it on and Tip off. Tip top. Yep. Tip top. Real simple. Um, other things you might want to look for, if you have a heater, you might want to look at a, a, um, a timer with heater protection, which is basically a fireman switch, which turns the heater off about 15 minutes before uh, the pump turns off. That way the heater's not running when there's no water flowing through there. Yeah, not good. That's not good. Um, if you live in states where you, it, uh, you get a lot of freezes, um, freezes or freeze eye? I don't know. Okay. That's the, the debate of the century. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the, if you get a lot of freezes, um, you might want to get a timer with freeze protection. Basically, you have a thermostat um, that will uh, turn the pump on uh, when the. Um, I think you can set it from depends like 34 to 41 degrees. Yeah. yeah. And Once uh, it dips below there, it'll kick the pump yeah. on, keep the uh, water flowing. Keep the water so, flowing, keep your pipes uh, from cracking, which yes, is very important. Because if that water freezes inside the pipes, boom, expansion. Pipes are done. Yeah. So you want that pump running when there's a freeze. Not only the pipes, but also inside your equipment. So exactly. if you have some settling water inside of your pump housing or, or strainer basket, it's just gonna it's gonna pop that pump, and that's a, a nice four hundred dollar bill you yes. got to deal with. Um, uh, if you have a two speed pump. Um, you can kind of go two different ways. Uh, you can get a mechanical timer that turns the pump on and off, and then a separate mechanical timer that uh, switches it between high and low. Or you can go with a digital timer, which is a uh, much uh, easier way to go, I believe, so, uh, as far as programming and wiring, because yeah. uh, you wire it into one timer, and uh, it'll turn it on and off, high, low. Uh, the, most of them have an extra auxiliary function, which you could tie a booster pump to, so they all are turning on, um, on at the same time, off at the same time. It's like having a little mini robot. Yes. Controlling it's your like cute little robot on the side of your wall. Yeah, it's like a little Don Shula. <laughs> uh, <I don't laughs> but not as cool. But uh, uh, yeah. not as old. <laughs> and uh, thank you for joining us. It was been it, it's been wonderful. Um, you can contact us at 877-372-6038 if you want to talk to us. Uh, not us specifically, um, because he's very busy and he's not very nice. Uh, you can email us at upload at uh if you prefer to type, and sign up for our newsletter and, uh, and to get more of these poolside chats if you uh, love our personalities, which our moms love us. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, you may also receive a pool maintenance guide, which is 128 pages, I believe. I haven't officially counted. Yeah, it's a, it's a big one. It's a big, it's, it's, it's a long one. Sizable. Also, sizable. for uh, more specific model recommendations, check out our blog on this very topic. Uh huh. Oh yes, and we have uh, quite a few blogs. Uh, you can either search through Inyo Pools or just go slash to our uh, .com blog. Uh, thank you for joining us. You've been great. He's been the Zonk. I've been the Diesel. Riggo. Bye.